guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Hit that subscribe button. All of you who come to our videos, we want you to continue to subscribe, share our videos. Come on in and to the next one. Guys, Professor David here with Sheon Kenny. Another video for you today. Guys, we've all seen the video of the Memphis Five Police, what happened. That was tragic. There's a lot of debate going on, okay? Oh, they need more training, they need more training. Uh, could have been training. Or, that's one way to look at it. Or, the fact that, oh no, these police don't need to be there. That's another way to, to look at it, okay? We're not here for that right now. All I'm here, is to show you that with the type of training we do. You see, because there's all different kinds of training. And in that, what happened there? Different types of training at different parts of the attack. Because that's what it was, they attacked that dude, okay? Different parts of the way they were attacking him, they could have used different strategies at a different time. But let me make one thing clear. Let me make one thing clear. It didn't matter what style, what type of training those guys had, it wouldn't have made any difference because they made up their mind that all training, all what they knew, everything was out the window. When a person makes up their mind that they're gonna hurt you, all training goes out the window. You see, because now you're going off emotion. And if we don't know, we didn't see the video, what happened that got those guys so angry that they had to drag that man out of his car the way they did. That video we didn't see. Because the dash cam video on the police car has not been released. And if they were chasing him or following him and he didn't stop and he kept driving, that should be on the dash cam video. And we didn't see that video. Okay? What got them so angry to do that to someone, anyone? So training had nothing to do with it because they were strictly going off of emotion. One of our 10 commandments and one of the 21 laws of street self-defense, master your emotions. Professor V used to ask me a question. He said, David, the jails are full of people. He said, here's the question. How many people would not be there if they only thought about what they were going to do for five seconds more and master their emotions? How many people would be in jail? How many are people behind bars today because they didn't master their emotion, they went off of emotion, instant emotion, and did what they did and wound them behind bars, wound them, put them behind bars. You see, guys, especially you people who train, carry knives, carry guns, who are fighters, who are wrestlers, who are MMA guys, who are grapplers, master your emotions. If you don't, you're going to be in the same place those five cops are going to be. In jail for a very long time. And they should be. Because they had no right and no reason to do that to that man. But let me show you one thing from the very beginning. If you had the type of training we trained and they would have applied it from the first the first encounter it would be over. Over! At the first encounter. Let me show you, Kenny. So the man was in his car. You see in the video where the guy comes up to the car. He's yelling and screaming. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. He grabs the car door. He opens up the car door. And this was no 
small guy, man. This is, all them guys were big dudes. Okay? He grabs it. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Pulls him up. The guy stands up like this. Then he says to him, turn around. Get down on the ground. His words, turn around. Get down on the ground. Let me show you where, once again, if you have the type of training we have, you never wait to the part that it goes to the ground. You see, because there's a lot of grapplers right now. There's a lot of MMA guys and grapplers and people who grapple who are saying if they had grappling skills while the guy was on the ground, they could show how this guy never get up once they had him down on the ground. Why? Because it was three guys on one guy. Okay? He should have never been able to get up and run away. Now maybe if you got good grappling skills, in fact, if you do have good grappling skills, that would have never happened. He would have never been able to get up off the ground to run away. But I keep telling you, all fights end up on the ground. All self-defense situations never end up on the ground. That is the difference between grapplers and what I do. Grapplers want to grapple. Grapplers wanted to get to the ground so they could do their ground maneuvers and their ground techniques, which they're masterful at. They're good at it. The Gracie's family is great at it. You know that. Because as soon as you say the name grappling, first name that comes to mind is Gracie. Okay? And they already told people all fights end up on the ground. But let me show you what we do. When he grabbed him and pulled him up, once this guy stood up, it's over. That officer was here. The guy's hands was below him. The officer at one part in the video went behind him, grabbed him on both of his shoulders and spun him to put him down on the ground. It's over right here. This hand grabs the face. Now you're at no point in time interrupting his neck or throat to choke him out. Put your palm, palm over his face. Take your other palm because you're behind him and he's a big cat. Grab his face. Push it into his head. The man is seated. Seated. Right here. It's over. It's over. He's not getting up. Can you get up? Get up! Get up! Get up, Kenny! He's not getting up. Now you got your other buddies, watch now. Now when I turn him, cause he's telling the guy, get on the ground, get on the ground. He's sitting on his behind. Your behind is a ball. It's a ball. You can't turn this way. Maybe the car door is there. Now watch this. Turn the face. Now, you apply your technique. Arm on the shoulder, because you know the law says you can't do this anymore. But now his hands are here, put this on his arm, put that arm behind him, stretch it out. Now, pain compliance. Put your hand behind your back. Now he could do it. You see, he was telling the guy to put his hand behind his back. Kenny. I want you to turn around this way, please. Your head facing Nicholas. Okay. Now, he's pulling on the guy's arm to tell him and try to get his arm behind his back. Another cop was pulling on his arm this way, straight up. So if you got one guy pulling this way, another cop pulling this way, how the hell is he going to turn on his back? If I'm pulling one way, can he roll to your back? How you gonna roll to your back? The guy couldn't roll to his back. The body mechanics was off. Any grappler could tell you that. It's impossible, you're yelling commands, but it's impossible for the individual to roll to his back. Because of how you had him. 
So he was able to switch his position from where he was to get to the point that he got up on his feet and took off. You tell me how the hell did that happen when you got three guys around you? How does that happen? How does that happen? Because nobody, absolutely nobody, is working off of thought. Everyone is working off of adrenaline, adrenaline and emotion. They're amped up, okay? Because I don't care who you are. Once I get behind you like this, boom, you're on, you're on the ground. You're on the ground. It's over right there. You see? As simple as that. Because you see, in my mind, I'm not a fighter. I'm not going to fight with you. I'm not going to put you in a position to fight with me. Okay? I always do three things. Vision, breathing, and balance. I interrupt the vision. I interrupt the balance. And his breathing is off right now. See, I don't let him do this, that he could turn left and or he could turn right. I kept this like this. Now get up, Kenny. Try to turn left or right. Nope, can't do it. Hey, guys, once again, if you keep things simple and you understand body mechanics and you understand body mechanics, a lot of things can be shut down very quickly. But if you don't understand body mechanics, things go from bad to worse. Now, you seen the second part of that video, what they did to that man? Come on. That's unnecessary. It's a total lack of humanity. Total lack of respect, man. Yeah, yeah. No respect for another human being. Especially that knucklehead with the aspartame. Now, I'm a, believe me, man, I'm pro-cop because we need cops. Because without cops, it's anarchy out in these streets. You can't, look at, look at what's happening. They already started to cut back on, on cops, defunding them. Look what happened. Crime rate has been, been rising for the last two years in every category because there's not enough cops. What do you think less cops going to do? Guys, so, you know, we got to be practical. We got to be practical and understand. Hating the cops, no. We hate bad cops. We don't hate cops. We hate bad cops. Just the same way we hurt bad, we hate bad anyone of position who has power, who uses their power against a weaker person. We all hate them, no matter what it is. It could be a judge, a police officer, a fireman. It could be the guy in McDonald's who got the keys to the bathroom. And you say, can I use the bathroom? Right now, he got power over you. He's like, yo. I'm not letting you take a leak. Pee in your pants. See, he got power. See? And how many times you've seen people at nightclubs lined up to get into a nightclub and that bouncer who's a nobody. No, you don't get in. You, come on in. You come in. You, get out the way. You can't get in. Anybody with a little bit of power, it goes to their head, man. Power corrupts sometimes, man. Okay? There used to be a saying, absolute power corrupts absolutely. And that's what happened. These knuckleheads abuse their power. I want you to use your power right now when Kenny tells you what to do. Go. Guys, we already said it in the beginning. You know what to do, guys. Right now, we want you to help us get our subscribership up. Once again, I want to thank you all for your support. We love the fact that you're commenting. Continue to give us the comments, guys. We want to hear it, all right? Whatever's on your mind, whatever's in your heart, let us know, all right? And we, we want to hear it. So now it's going to let us know what kind of content that we can do in the future. Thank you very much, guys. Peace. To another